Hey friends, it's Steph. So I thought I'd hop on here real quick and do a quick video on some things that I've been working on and do a quick review of some of the tools and supplies that I've gotten from Timu um, just to let you guys know how they work. If they work, are they worth the money? Um, I also got, I did miss one Timu item last week when I did our Timu haul, but I also wanted to show you guys. So I finally got in the mail the... Um, desk that I ordered from Cine Minis and um, I will link their shop um, it, this was on clearance for like ten dollars and it is just perfect oh my gosh I love it it is just almost exactly the desk that's in Lucy's apartment although I will say they had like double doors on theirs but this is going to work perfectly for what I wanted it for. Um, I'm going to stain it, obviously, to match the rest of the furniture that I use in the um, living room. And it also came, of course, with the hardware um, so that after I stain it, I can put um, the little knobs in. You'll see how cute are those. Um, but super excited. This is great quality. Um, there's a little glue on the edges, but not bad. The drawers do pull out. Um, and I guess you could stick stuff in there if you wanted to. Um, but, you know, this would be perfect for, like, a little girl's bedroom. You can make a vanity out of it or a desk, again, just about anything. Super, super cute. I love it. Um, so I'm very happy with that purchase. Um, I have purchased from Cine's before, and it was good quality as well. Um, I would have to go back and double check, guys, at what I purchased because it's been a long time. Um, but definitely highly recommend them. Um, she does have a YouTube channel as well um, where she builds different things. So obviously check out her mini um, YouTube channel. Um, and she, yeah, she just does great. Um, so, all right, let's do this little Timu thing that I missed. This is also for Lucy's apartment. This I have been trying to get for a while because it's always sold out. But I finally was able to get one, and it is a radio. As you know, they did a lot of radio back in the 50s. But look at how adorable. Oh my gosh, I love it. It looks so realistic, and I think it's just going to be perfect um, in Lucy's apartment. I haven't quite decided where to put it, because you know, they didn't always have the radio out, just occasionally for episodes. Um, so I'll stick this in somewhere where it's not... Um, obtrusive in the um, apartment but I do love that all right so let's look at some of the tools we've been using so you remember I showed you guys this um I first saw this on a video with Julie Warren and oh my gosh check out her videos because she has a great channel as well she has got to be the most patient person in the world um I think sometimes you know I would be yelling and hollering at half the stuff she does but she is so precise and calm at all times very opposite of me so I use this, this is the start of a clock. Those are the, like the alarm thing, you know, and this is from a kit. And so I stuck it in here. I always forget you gotta turn that backwards. And then these are the little feet that it came with. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is so flippin' tiny. And then there'll be a clock face on it. But what I was able to do, you see how small this is and how, how on earth am I going to get those on there? I did use super glue for them. Can you see those little beads on there? They're like little seat beads. I mean, they're ridiculously small. And um, so I used this. I stuck it in there. I glued everything on, then laid it down to let it dry. Um, you know, it opens and closes as much as you need it to. It does have the little pins so that you can utilize those to hold something on the top. Um, but I just used the vice part of it and it held it perfectly. Um, it was a little fiddly to get it in there, I will say, um, by myself. But once I got it in there, I was able, it held everything for me and I was able to dot the glue on there. And then um, the beads, oh my gosh, y'all, those beads are so tiny. I had to finally get some tweezers out to help me with those. But I managed to get them on there and they are fully dry now. So I just need to add this. Um, front part of the clock to go in that kit that I'm working on. All right, these, and oh, this one is from Amazon, guys. I got this off Amazon. If you're in the UK, Julie does have this on her Etsy. 
I believe I saw it on there, um, which obviously she would ship to the UK. She does ship to the US too, but obviously it was um, cheaper. It was free shipping for me from the US on Amazon. So that was why I bought it there. She does have a ruler I am eyeing there and it gives you all the measurements for 1 12th scale. So I really want to have that, but I've got to make sure that I'm ready to pay the shipping for that. So this is a little sanding block. These come off, they Velcro on like this. They have hook, hook and loop tape. Um, the soft part is on the back of the sandpaper and then the hooks are on the actual tool. And oh my gosh, so I used this to sand. I held it like this and sanded on top of it like this. It worked great. I also utilized it this way. Very comfortable to hold. It's plastic, but it's like it gives just enough so that it's comfortable to hold in your hand. So I really do like this. And it came with um, a ton of these little replaceable sandpaper things um, that looks like there's about five in each one of these. Um, so maybe there's a hundred in there, maybe 50, something like that. So great, great purchase. I really like that. Um, I would buy that again. I also utilize, you know, these little cute sticks with this um, sandpaper um, on the top. These things work great as well. It gets down in there into little spots, little teeny tiny things. So for these kits where they're 148 or, you know, even 124 scale, this works great because it gets into tiny spots and I really like it. You've got a good handle on it so that you're not trying to do like this, um, although you can if that's more comfortable for you, um, but really like them. The bottom is also angled so if you need to scrape glue away um, or anything like that, it's um, also good for that. So this was amazing. I liked it too. Okay, so what I have been working on the past few days is the general store. Um, I'm ready to get it started. And you remember back in one of my first videos, I told you about the foam core um, poster boards that I bought from Amazon. This is part of one. I've already cut it. It's messy because I didn't um, have my metal ruler when I was trying to cut it. So yeah, I made a mess of that, but it was longer than what I need. So it'll be okay. I'll get it fixed. I really like this foam core board because it does not have a slick surface. You know, the ones like you buy at the dollar store, or even at Walmart for school projects and stuff, they tend to have a glossy finish to them. This is a matte finish um, and it really feels kind of like a paper, a nice thick paper. So I'm excited about that these came in a box of 20 by 30 um, I got 10 of them I cannot remember how much they cost but just search up foam core board on Amazon and those should pop up for you um, really nice texture and everything so what I did to get started on my measurements because I did look up you know what were the typical measurements of a general store back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Well, I didn't find anything. So I thought, okay, I'm going to figure this out on my own. So I decided I printed off some one inch grid paper because for 1 12th scale, um, one inch equals um, 12 inches. I hope I'm saying that correctly, y'all. Math is not my strong suit. And I know I'm a teacher, but I teach third grade math and fourth grade math. So it's not it's not trying to figure out scale on things, which I utilize um, a calculator for. So um, because it confuses me so much, it doesn't seem like it should be so confusing. One inch equals 12 inches in scale, or is it 12 feet? One inch. See, I just cannot remember. But so I printed off this one inch grid paper and this is what I will draw out my plans on. So what I did is I decided I wanted the area of the general store to be 18 inches and you know I'm not using inches actually by 30 inches and so that is what I did. I cut them together, pasted them together until I have the size that I want and then what I will do is I will cut my board to the size of this paper that I've glued together and everything. This, but I am going to draw my parts on here to see where I want everything to go. 
I read up on um, general stores. They said they used every available inch of space in those things. They were crowded and just packed full of things. Um, and then, so remember I had showed you I had a whole um, Pinterest board on um, general stores and pictures and such. So I printed some of those pictures out, just like what I did with the Lucy apartment. Um, I'm just not quite ready to start on her apartment yet. And so I just found some cute pictures um, of things. Here's some little candy jars, um, a nice scale, which, you know, I've got all those things. There's some barrels and then some sundries and stuff up on the shelves on that one. Um, this one, pretty much the same. It's got a glass case here. You can see the people in the background, canned goods, hats, um, I can't really see what that is. This was not a good colored picture. Um, even the, you know, black, it's kind of sepia, I guess, um, but very difficult to see. But I just um, liked how it looked, so I got that one. Um, this one, um, you can see there's a scale here, a cash register. Um, they've got boxes of things, bottles, jars, um, different things there. Um, I also read some articles about the post office in the thing, guys, and they actually had a little office for the post office, and they had mailboxes in there. So I'm going to have to rethink what I'm doing with the mail area of that. I'll still have the postal box that I'm going to use, but I'll have to come up with like some mailboxes and a desk for the postmaster and stuff. Um, here's another picture. Um, we've got canned goods again up here, soap. Um, different things. Um, they just put a little bit of everything. You've got your flour, rice stuff down here. So um, again, another scale. I'm so excited to do this one, y'all. Here is the outside um, of a general store. And you know, remember what I said, I wanted to put a porch, um, a nice wooden porch on the outside of it. And I'm also trying to figure out how I could do an awning um, across the top. I haven't figured that out yet. Um, I kind of wanted the front open, but I don't know. I may do some windows in the front here. I just, again, it's all kind of a process going through my mind on how it's going to work. And you guys know, even once I start, it may still end up changing um, because something may not work out or I may have an even better plan. Y'all know my mind goes all day. Um, here's another picture, again, an old-fashioned um um, cash register, some small barrels, some washboards for sale. Um, I do have one of those in my Timo cart because I think those are so cute. Um, again, some canned goods, boxes, looks like soaps, lotions. They sold medicines at the general store. Um, most of the time these were wooden stores, so I'm trying to decide, y'all. Um, and let me know in the comments what you think. If I should cover the walls... Um, like to look like logs. Um, I haven't just decided yet. Should I just paint it or should I go ahead and add things? The flooring is going to be um, probably popsicle sticks. Um, haven't completely decided on that one. I did find this blog. Um, it's a writer's guide to the 19th century. It really was an interesting read. Um, and it told um, what kinds of things that were sold in a general store. Um, flour for super fine flour was um, four fourteen cents <laughs> or four and one four cents. I'm not sure how he's got that. Um, fresh beef was four and a half to five cents a pound. I don't know how they made change for half a cent, y'all. Um, for sugar, it was seven and a half cents to eight cents um, for Louisiana brown per the pound. Um, vinegar was six and a quarter cents for a quart. Um, so lots of fun things. There's grains. They were 63 to 65 cents um, for 100 pounds. Um, so really cool. Oats were 16 to 20 cents. So I thought that was really interesting because um, I may do some pricing in there. Um, I also watched a couple of YouTube videos, um, them going through what were old stores. Um, I made a list of things that they sell um, so that I can start getting ready for that. Um, I also found this online, guys, and I'm not sure if I can post this um, for y'all or not, a link to it, but it's just 112 scale furniture sizes. So like a twin bed would be two and three quarter inches in height three and a quarter inches in width and the depth or the length of it would be six and a quarter inches. 
Um, I found this on Pinterest, so you might could just look up 112 scale miniature furniture. Um, I found another one too, but honestly, guys, I thought this one was kind of hard to utilize. It has 1 16th scale and um, 1 12th scale, but it really didn't give you much information. But it does tell you about ceilings um, and then doorway height. So I thought I could utilize that a little bit as well. So getting started on the general store, um, the next time I hope to have the walls and the floor built. And then what we will start is we will start um, finishing out the inside, like doing the floor first, figuring out, um, I'll see what you guys say in the comments about the walls um, and make a decision on that. And then we will start with um, building some more shelves. We're gonna need some um, different types of shelves. You know, I've got the square shelf um, unit. Um, but I need some, like, just regular shelving. Um, I also need to do, and I didn't print that picture. I thought I did, but a wood-burning stove um, because they often had wood-burning stoves um, in the shops because, you know, they didn't have heat and stuff, and in the cold they needed some way to keep warm. So they did have um, wood-burning stoves, and they had those pot-belly stoves, so I think that that's what I'm going to go with. So i got to find something to build that out of. Um, I don't, I don't, there's a lot of miniaturists, they keep just about everything. I really try, guys, to be very mindful of what I keep and what I don't keep. Um, and yes, sometimes I have regret. It's like, darn it, I wish I had kept that. Um, but I'll find some things. I'll look at what I can find. Um, those little candy, they have these little toys that come in these little orange um, things that go together. I'm going to try to find one of those. I can't remember what the candy is, but I know my girls will probably remember. So I'll try to find one of those so that I can start. That will be the start of the pot belly stove. Um, so a lot going on. Um, we're going to see how far we get. I hope this um, only takes us a few weeks. Um, you know, if you're a miniaturist, when you're building things, it never seems really finished, and so um, I'm going to try to get us to a point where, okay, this is where we can stop, and then, you know, if I come across something that we can add to it, we'll add two things. Um, so if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. To whoever recommended the tiny nail art for the suckers for the candy jars in the general store, thank you so much. I love those. I've got them in my card on Timu. Um, so I'm until next time, guys, I'll see you then. Thank you.